When people say star power and they want mega fights, you know, sometimes I'm left out of the equation because I know I'm more of a threat than people would consider a superstar to make major profit off of in, you know, mega fights. So my hat's off to uh, Canelo for accepting this fight because, you know, I really didn't think we were going to get it. You know, as much as I pushed for it, in the back of my mind, I've always just felt like some way, some shape or form that it was going to fall through, whether it was them lowballing me, whether it was a uh, weight situation or just whatever the case may be. It could have been several reasons why it would have fell through. Uh, and me being a champion, I've always wanted to make sure at least I had the respect that I deserve. So when everything across the board made sense for me, I signed my part of the deal. And uh, as soon as I got the word that Canelo signed the, the, his contract, I was jumping for joy. And it was, it was an excitement, yeah. Championship order on the line in Las Vegas Saturday, May 4th at T Mobile Arena. Champion versus champion. This fight is for the fans. Obviously, our legacy is on the line. He's already well established. So for me, it's about capturing the titles, all the titles, to claim my legacy in my own right. I'm from Brooklyn, Brownsville, New York. I never, ever, ever, ever had it easy. I've always had the long road. I always had to jump over hurdles after hurdle after hurdle. But when I step in that ring, May 4th, that would be the last hurdle that I would have to step in because I would declare myself the middleweight champ, the best fighter in the world of my division. Looking forward to this journey, building up the hype, but most importantly, looking forward to getting back to the grind because that's what I do, that's my part. Getting back to training and make sure that I'm 100% for the fight and then hopefully make this a uh, fight that we can talk about for many more years to come.